Hi there YouTube and welcome to Tech Cravers. In this video, I'm gonna show you the absolute best way to play Nintendo 64 on a HD monitor or TV in 2022 using a wireless Nintendo WaveBird controller and the EverDrive 64 cartridge. Let's roll the intro. So I'm back with a new tutorial for all retro gaming lovers out there and uh, this time I want to show you the absolute best way to play your N64 games on your HD monitor in 2022. And by best I mean that it absolutely blows every emulation competition away when it comes to N64 gaming. And I feel pretty comfortable saying that after you've seen this video you're not gonna want to play your N64 games in any other way. So what you're watching right now is me unboxing my Nintendo 64 that I got off a Swedish auction site. The condition is absolutely amazing and the controller feels like new. However, in this tutorial I'm going to use something different than an ordinary N64 controller. I'm going to use the official wireless GameCube controller Nintendo WaveBird. Neither am I going to use ordinary N64 games, like this Mario 64. Even though you absolutely can if you want to. I'm going to use my EverDrive 64 to dump my games and have them all in one cartridge. What I show you here is not something that you'll find in a N64 box. It's an HDMI to mini HDMI cable and you're going to need that to connect your console to an HD monitor or TV. This is the EverDrive 64 X7. And if you ask me, this is one of the greatest cultural achievements ever made. On this cartridge, we can dump all games that we own and play them on our N64 just as if they were played from their original cartridges. And this is the last essential part that we'll need, and it's just as great as the EverDrive. It's the magical RAD 2X cable, and we'll need it to hook up our N64 to an HD monitor with that HDMI cable I showed you earlier. It's based on the same technology used in the RetroTrink 2X, uh, with the added bonus of supporting RGB video. There are better people out there explaining how this works, so I'm just gonna leave a link to one of those videos here. And this is the Nintendo GameCube WaveBird that I will be using while playing. And in this video I'm gonna sit very close to the console, but if you sit in a sofa far away from the console. It's very neat to have a wireless controller. And to be able to use your WaveBird with your N64 you're gonna need this adapter. It's like 20 bucks or something off eBay. I'm gonna leave a link to all the cables and things you need in the description. And uh, that's it. Let's get to it. So firstly you connect your WaveBird adapter to the GameCube 2 N64 cable and then you're going to use the RAD 2X cable and you plug it in in the back just as you would with the original cable and then you take the HDMI cable and you plug it in to the RAD 2X adapter and then the other side of the cable you plug into your monitor. And the last thing we need to do before we can play our games is to prepare the EverDrive. And for that you plug in your micro SD card in your computer and you format it as XFAT like this. And when you have done that you need to go to the official website to download the firmware. And as always I'm going to leave a link in the description to the site. And you'll head over to Downloads and then to EverDrive64 and then to X-Series and 
here you'll find a manual as well but then you go to OS and you download the latest version and after that you'll just need to open the file and drag it to your desktop like this and then you need to open your micro SD card and you're gonna put the files on the root of the SD card And when you've done that, you just need to make a folder for your games. And then simply drag and drop your games into that folder. I have a few dumped games here for myself that I'm going to use. Oh, and uh, make sure that the games folder is in the root as well, not in the OS folder. Just as I've done here. And now you're ready to use your cartridge in your N64. And that's it. Now you're ready to play every single one of your old N64 games just as they were intended to be played. And uh, since these dumped games are played on the actual N64 hardware, there will be zero graphical lags or audio stutters. Of course you can use the original wired N64 controller as well, or any original game cartridge. This is just the way that I want to play my N64 games in 2022. If this video helped you out, or simply if you liked it, please let me know via a comment or a like. And please subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this. Bye!
Charm. I just want to get past, please. No. 